In today's video, you'll learn the quickest, easiest way to get rid of wrinkles in Photoshop. This video is part of a new Quickest Easiest series, where I'll show you the quickest, easiest ways to do some of the most common edits in Photoshop. To see other videos in this series, check out the playlist titled, you guessed it, Quickest Easiest. I'll be adding lots more, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Let's get started. I'm first going to control J to duplicate my layer so that I'm working non-destructively. Up here in with the healing brush tool is the remove tool. It looks like a band-aid with stars around it. The remove tool is one of the newer tools in Photoshop. It's been around for almost a year now though and it's made life so much easier. With this tool selected, all I'm going to do is click and drag on the areas I want to remove. Let go, and just like that, Photoshop has removed the area and replaced it with surrounding pixels of smoother skin. Now you need to make sure that you have remove after each stroke selected. Then every time you paint across a line, that line will be removed. I'm just going to keep going across her forehead. I personally am not a fan of removing what naturally occurs on a person's face, but the fact is, if you're a photographer, you know this is one of the most common requests from clients, so it's important to know how to do it. And you can always tone it down, you don't have to remove the wrinkles completely. Now here's just a quick before and after, and I want to show you something kind of cool. You can use this remove tool to get rid of dark areas too. So again with the remove tool, I'm going to just paint over this darker area just like before and Photoshop will replace that darker area with some of the lighter surrounding pixels. And so you would just travel around the face just like that, removing any areas that you feel necessary. So I've done her entire face now and here's another quick before and after. Some people will also want the neck area taken care of as well. Again, I'm just going to do the same thing with the remove tool. I'm focusing on the dark area because usually it's the shadows that create the visual of the wrinkle. If we kind of minimize those shadows, the wrinkle seems to go away as well. So one more before and after. That's a pretty dramatic change for only two minutes of work. Now, like I said, you don't have to completely take the wrinkles away. You can always turn down the opacity and adjust it to your liking. So I find it's better to do maybe 50 to 70 percent, whatever looks good, so that it still looks like the same person. And it looks way more natural this way. Let's look at one more example. Now here again, I'm just going to duplicate my layer, go straight for the remove tool. And once again, to get rid of these areas on her neck, I'm just going to focus on the dark areas. So I'm only painting over these shadowy areas and watch how quickly those go away. Very simple. Just paint and let go. I'm going to do the same thing on these dark shadowy areas on her cheek. Again, it's the shadows that are creating the visual of the wrinkle. So just focus on the dark area, paint over that, and once that disappears, you no longer see any sort of wrinkle. I went ahead and finished up her face, just very light edits, but here's a before and after. You can see that I was able to get rid of that really dark circle under her eye as well. Now every once in a while, usually this will work perfectly. Every once in a while, you might find that it took away too much of the texture in the skin. In that case, you would just go right back to like a healing brush tool and use that to bring some of the surrounding texture back in. So you would just hit your Alt key, select the area you want to bring texture from, and then just brush that texture right back over the cheek. But like I said, usually wrinkles are tiny enough that you don't have to worry too much about this. It's just touch up in the end. I hope this video was helpful. Have a beautiful day.